Well, I've written to the Prime Minister asking 15 pretty basic questions on behalf of millions of Australians, and uh, I, I want to understand what his response is, because at the moment, as you saw in the Ben Fordham interview, the Prime Minister doesn't understand or hasn't decided on the detail yet, so how can Australians make a decision when they're not properly informed? And as you move around the community, it's quite obvious that people don't understand what it is that the Prime Minister is talking about. Uh, they understand that changing the Constitution is a big deal, and instinctively, uh, like uh, me and like uh, millions of Australians, we want a better outcomes for Indigenous Australians. We don't want to see uh, the dreadful circumstances that uh, are the reality in Alice Springs and other parts of the Northern Territory at the moment. So uh, we'll work with the Prime Minister. We've been very clear about that. Uh, we've got a party room process to go through, and uh, I think my party room, like uh, most Australians, want to see the detail. And the Prime Minister has proposed a significant change to our constitution the way that government would operate, the way that laws would be enacted. And I think it's incumbent on him as the Prime Minister to provide that detail. Look, I, I don't think anyone's taking those comments seriously. Uh, the Chief Minister in the Northern Territory uh, really has uh, been shamed uh, over the course of this week. It's uh, been quite astonishing that she hasn't stood up for Indigenous and non-Indigenous Territorians. Uh, we were up in Alice Springs in October. I came back and met privately with the Prime Minister because what I saw on the ground uh, was a tragedy. And uh, I know the Prime Minister was able to spend four and a half hours up in Alice Springs, which I welcome, but uh, it wasn't in, in the meetings and you know, in the air-conditioned offices where I really got a feel for what was happening on the ground. Uh, I took the time to go out to the town camps to meet with Indigenous mothers uh, at their homes and to speak to those leaders and that's where I got a true taste of really what was happening in Alice Springs and I think all Australians want to see an environment where kids can go to school peacefully, where they can go home uh, to a, a place that is welcoming and safe and that they can contribute to their society as uh, we would expect kids in, in other regional areas or indeed in our capital cities. The tragedy that's unfolding in Alice Springs at the moment is not going to be addressed by what the Prime Minister has offered by way of uh, a fig leaf. Yes, there needs to be uh, alcohol controls in place and we fully support that. If it goes so much further than that, I raise with the Prime Minister uh, the idea of a boarding school at one of the primary schools where uh, kids could go and be safe so that they could go to school during the daytime. That hasn't been funded, it hasn't been addressed, uh, and there are many other uh, voices within the community up there that the Prime Minister is just not listening to. So I hope that he can go back and spend some more time, some more meaningful time, uh, than just spending you know, round tables talking to politicians. He should be out talking to mothers and grandmothers who are living this every day, to small business owners that we went to see who have been broken into multiple times. Uh, elderly residents who won't go to the shops by themselves even during daylight. Uh, it's, it's a huge issue to deal with. Um, I offered to go up there with the Prime Minister, offered to provide bipartisan support to him in October. Uh, I've written to him asking for a, a Royal Commission, which I think is absolutely still warranted in Alice Springs so that we can get to the root causes. It's not just the abuse of alcohol and gambling. is another big issue in the community. Uh, it's well beyond that and uh, this is a first step by the Prime Minister but there's a lot of work to do to see a better outcome for those kids and for those women uh, on the ground in Alice Springs and, and indeed in other Indigenous communities across the country.